So hello, all my beautiful live drivers. Welcome to your Mystic Affirmation for Monday. This is for February the 12th of 2023. Many blessings to you all. Remember, this is a collective energy. And if you'd like to have a personal reading, please visit my website. Let's crank up our relentless optimism with our positively positive using the law of attraction, the law of divine compensation, and our ability to focus to create the best possible life now using our own intention. Intention is everything, guys. It is what you have in your heart when you sit down to do something. And that makes all the difference. So, so we've got. We've got three days, three weeks, three months, third time's the charm, beautiful energy of being able to allow yourself to be in that old pattern. This is the moment where you're in the stuck position and it's just holding you there for the timing to align. So don't, don't try to squirm out of it. Three days, three weeks, three months, third time's the charm. You get into the energy of the Ace of Wands, which is the energy of being able to really put your energy towards something growing or blossoming into existence. It's something that's taken root and it literally looks like a magic wand because that's the kind of energy we're talking about. And it's ignited and, and the magic is happening. So you just got to give yourself time to let this, this old energy loose and you'll move forward. So here we go. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light. Divine spirit. Hey, if you like that one. You got the star card along with it. So this is your soul's desire, your soul's wish, being told yes by the universe. The universe is worried about what's going to align or not. This is the universe aligning you, putting you in the place where you are walking your soul. Ascension is all of the energy of brilliant growth. This is also the Aquarius Major Arcana, and we are in the Aquarius season. So beautiful energy, exciting. Remember, the ace is a gift from divine as well. Divine spirit, spirit guides, gods, and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all sun, moon, and rising signs to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for the blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. Okay. Okay. So, how about now? Oh, well, Jack barked a minute ago, so that might be part of it. <laughs> so I'm answering Jan. She's saying some people are commenting that the audio isn't clear, but I, I, it's showing me everything's working. So let me check just to be sure. It's showing the right thing. So I hope that maybe I need to move it closer to my, my meal. So. We have the beautiful energy of our extra cards that jumped out, but you kind of flipped out on me. So for those of you, okay, good, good, straight. Thank you guys for giving me the feedback. I need to know because I, I only can, I can only hear what I'm saying. I've, I've turned off the, the microphone. It has a lag and drives me crazy. So thank you guys very much for your help. I need your input, so I appreciate you. Now. And we have our underlier as the Ace of Swords. This is another Ace. This is a brilliant energy because this is victory. This is where you can cut through the veil. All things are revealed. It moves you past the fog that's been kind of you and what you were trying to be and allows you to have a clear way forward. This is clarity. And sometimes people can, can buy the victory because sometimes it's not the answer you want. And it lets us move forward nonetheless. Remember, you have that three of swords, which is kind of holding you back. Well, you're not going to be held back. So, beautiful energy of the yes from the universe with the star card, the energy of the ace of wands, the energy of this ace of swords, and your ability to move forward despite whatever else may go on. Right? So, we've got ambition. Remember, ambition is not a dirty word. You have to be ambitious. Ambition. You have to be ambitious <laughs> in life if you want to move forward. This is the only way. 
it's not like it's going to just hand it to you. You have to be able to step into it. So allow yourself to move in the energy of all things that allow you to be put in a place of being able to move forward. And and don't pay attention to people who think you you know oh you're you're wishing for stuff that that isn't really possible or stuff you know saying things like that to you don't don't pay attention to that because it's just their own fear and they think they're protecting you. So this is why it's important. I am ambitious and do not procrastinate or waste time being negative. It's super important to remember. It is absolutely a waste of time to try to manifest through a negative energy. You got to pay attention to what lens you're looking at this through. So allow yourself to be in a place of positivity and allow yourself to move forward on what you can do. When you start anything, you're not going to be able to finish it the second you start it. You have to go through the process. Remember the Seven of Cups? That's the energy of allowing yourself to move forward, even though you're feeling like everything is just raining down on you. Just be still and work with the work on the parts that you have access to, and you'll move forward as you can. Okay. Let me turn this off. Okay, see if this helps. Okay, guys, how's the audio now? I'm hoping that it's working better. I'll just keep going. So awareness is our next card. You guys let me know if it's better. Being in the energy of awareness is super important because it allows you to move forward with your eyes wide open, kind of like that, the energy of the ace of swords is bringing in that clarity. Awareness means you're being able to hear and see things as they move without any issue. And when you focus on positive energy, you're aware that you attract more of it. Now, you got two cards that just gave you the, the ambition energy of get after it, right? And then being aware that the negative stuff is not going to help you. It, being in the place of letting go of any procrastination or any feeling that you need to, to adjust yourself because you can't do it in some way. Uh, do what you can. And the rest will fall in place. It's like it is a process. Everything is a process. And that you do that, more things open up and 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 allow you to be able to move into them. So it's it's just like a puzzle. You know, we first dump it out on the table, the pieces are everywhere, but eventually we get a little system going, right? And we get it together. And okay, okay, good. No need to worry. This is really important. The negative, the aforementioned negative energy we were speaking of is now fully in your ability to let it go because that's telling you negativity isn't going to get you there. And all you're going to do is get yourself upset and possibly sabotage what you're working toward. Remember, your intention is everything. We said that at the beginning. So, let yourself be in a place of freedom. Do as much as you can, and then you just have to let it go and give it to the universe. Let it go and move out of the way because we can be getting in our own way trying to micromanage. And let's see what our sacred geometry healing cards have to say. Or Actually, these are sacred geometry activations. Solar plexus chakra, as you see, it's bright and sunny. That's your action place. It's right in your solar plexus, uh, right between where your ribs come together, right, right in that V. If somebody can punch you in the breadbasket. That's your solar plexus. The frequency of solar plexus chakra, the yellow flower of life, supports our sense of self, our personal power, and our willpower, as well as our knowing of who we are and what our contribution is to the whole. So this is moving in your purpose, moving with your free will and being able to use your intention to create what you want. The solar plexus chakra is the one you want to have unblocked and open so you can do that without fear. Now we have our little beautiful uh, gratitude. These are the angel cards, guardian angel cards. Thank you, exclamation point. This is a heartfelt thanks to you from someone you recently helped in some way. 
I, your guardian angel, also wish to thank you for the unconditional love you emanate to the earth, humanity, and those around you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You are eternally blessed. May peace, grace, and love forever guide you along your sacred path. And so it is. Being in this energy is also a divine blessing because if you can pull your gratitude and open your heart to that energy, then your heart is what's attracting everything to you. The gratitude for what you already have and put that in your mind, whatever you're asking for is something you already have. That's what creates it instantaneously because your heart is the biggest magnet you have in your chakra energy. So it can hold the immenseness of all creation. So it is your creator. That is where you start. The heart is a big mamma jamma. Breakthrough. How many beautiful heart, well, heartfelt wishes have been crushed by fear? How many time has, times has society's voice of disapproval cast a shadow on your dreams? It is time to break free of these false beliefs and realize your dreams. Allow your heart to guide you. Trust your inner guidance. The time is right. So, Beautiful energy showing for us here. And these were the cards that volunteered while we were shuffling. So let's see what they are. We have the Three of Cups. Beautiful energy of divine love and light as it pours in. We have that overflow. It's a double portion. This has typically got three angels in the standard tarot. And it's talking about the seraphim. And they are pouring in that double blessing. As you see right in the middle, there's a big old heart. So beautiful, beautiful. And we have the magician, beautiful energy of being absolutely in the focused manifesting energy. So what you're doing when you're attracting with your heart and she see that sitting right in front of that chest area in the solar plexus and heart, she's focusing all of her energy on what she's already created in her mind and bringing it into this realm as though she's already living it. So this requires you to be able to see beyond your today, right? Now, it doesn't mean you have to go out of your body. You just want to be in that place where you allow your energy to move out of outside into a larger field, right? And that's what she's doing. And then she's collapsing the energy that's coming in into the matter that becomes the 3D realm. The Knight of Swords, all of a sudden, out of the blue, this is lightning strike energy. So this is either somebody reaching out to you, all of a sudden, bringing you what you need. He's a very fast mover, and it really is an amazing energy to allow you to move forward in. So this is a beautiful, fast-moving, blessing energy coming in with this Ace of Swords. So this is very fast and wonderful. Hello. Very, very wonderful. It just got exponentially better. The sun card is the happiest card in tarot. So we're doing this beautiful reading for Monday, the 12th, and it is awesome because we've got a lot of really good vibe energy. Remember, the sun means the harvest is going to come in like a bumper crop. Everything in you, in anything you can imagine happening. So keep yourself in a place knowing that you are aligned with the opportunity of a lifetime. That is also what that card means. So we love it. Oh, hey, let's have a wheel of fortune to top it off. <laughs> So this is also a 10. It's a Roman numeral 10. This indicates all red lights turn green, all doors open. Every single thing you could imagine that could open up for you is available. And we're not talking about just you have to go find it. It's actually announcing itself to you, kind of throwing itself at you. So this is literally you being catapulted past where you would have actually gone had you not been in the energy of this victory. So, and and in this hold, because it's sometimes we get a delay. Remember, there's got a breakthrough here and that's a breakthrough. And we also have the energy of the sun with the energy of that star card at the beginning and two aces because you had the ace of rods and the Ace of Swords. So having this energy is spectacular. And it looks like Monday's a take charge, get it done kind of day. So I hope you all have a fabulous Monday.